folks. Sounds like today's plan A is that we're gonna try to start cutting some soybeans. Uh, got a cat service uh, guy coming down to help me uh, figure out what's wrong with the header control of my combine. Like I say, still not have any luck with that. He's not gonna be down here till noon, so we'll probably spend uh, the morning dumping trucks, switching dad's combine over to do beans. And by then it should be dry enough to, we got a little bit of fog this morning, not too bad, but by then we should be in good shape for bean weather. That's plan A for now. Really like hop bottom. This is the corn out of that test plot. Be interested to see what the moisture is on it. In a test plot, they plant just a, a large range of corn with different maturity ratings. Some of it might be real dry, might be a short season corn. Some of it will be real wet. So I'm going to guess it feels pretty dry. I'm gonna guess it's 19 to 22 percent. We'll go now. Nah, let's go with night or let's go with 22 to 20. Should have stuck with the first guess. 19.6. This doesn't look like the farm. Now with the weather the way it is right now, it's gonna be pretty late before we can start on beans. So I went with uh, my wife to our son's first field trip for his uh, preschool class. We're going to a pumpkin patch. But Right beside the pumpkin patch, there's a farmer that's got a really nice grain system. That's some definite, that's some definite grain system goals right there. Yeah, pretty impressive setup they got. I just got back to the farm on the way home from uh, the pumpkin patch. I called George to see uh, what was going on. He informed me that apparently the auger started to fall out of the grain cart. So don't know what all that entails. I would imagine that the, the nut that goes on the top of the auger must have come off, but heading over to see what that, what all is going on there. I'm sure dad's in a great mood. I think he's already over there. So there may be some colorful language today on today's video, so stand by. You see it, Brian? By dollar bet that the shaft is messed up on the auger. On camera. I don't got five bucks. So. Hope that shaft's okay because I don't have five bucks. So I'm either going to win five bucks or I'm not. But I don't think George is getting five bucks either way. Looks like I won five bucks. Go get me a. So that was a washer that melted onto that space. A little chisel out of the door. It's a slider door. I think she got a little hot. A slider door. Those are supposed to look the same. Dad's getting biblical on us. Ooh, it's my five bucks. Hey, explain to us what bologna is good for you and what animal it came from. I've done it multiple. was a chance to get the bad ones pretty slick compared to your turkey. That turkey could have been bad. What, George? Yeah. Well, we got the cart operational again. That ended up being a big old pain in the butt. Still think we might have to do some minor work to it eventually. Hopefully it's good for the day. Get my bean head hooked up so we can uh, the high cat guys to try to fix it. They still aren't here yet. Oh, it's not shaping up to be a very good day. I'm gonna try to calibrate this thing. Cat guy just got. Well, both the heads are calibrated, and uh, cat found what was wrong with mine. It had some bent linkage in the uh, in, on the McDonald itself. It was preventing uh, a good calibration. Got that fixed. Got the uh, got it calibrated. So hopefully, we'll be cutting some beets or.
scraper head fixed, it's calibrated, hydraulic, leaks, hydraulic leak is fixed. It's just been a, a bad day, so I haven't been filming a lot. It's been pretty upset most of the day, so I was in a bad mood, I guess. But, I don't know uh, if we're going to try to get a load of beans or not now. It's uh, 6 o'clock and the beans really aren't that dry and uh, I don't know, I think we're going to load one truck, take the town and that'll probably be it, probably switch to corn. I think we're only loading that truck because we got half a load already anyways. It's, it's kind of the status of it. Well, at least we're finally cutting some beans now. About four hours later, later than I wanted to be cutting beans, but I got for doing it. Oh man, after the day we've had, after the last week we've had, it finally feels good to be in a field in a combine. Right now everything's running like it should. It's just relaxing. Hope it lasts a little while. Man, it's shaping up to be a long harvest. Good beans. I'd like to say that's an accurate number, but truth be told, I haven't set my yield monitor yet. Well, I've got my AB line set, and Dad's got his combine rolling, so I guess we're going to do more than one load, maybe two. George went home because so we didn't think we was going to get much done, so it's just me and Dad, so I'm over here dumping the cart. It's the first time I've dumped with this tractor. I was a little skeptical of this little knob is one of the hydraulic remotes, but for the grain car it's nice. I got my uh, load gate and my flapper on the spout on it, and it's pretty handy. I'm liking it quite a bit. I hope I get this tractor back from George because I intend on planting wheat with it in a couple weeks. Don't see any beans on the ground, so it's a good thing. trouble getting my sample to clean up some, so I'm uh, making some adjustments and looking around at it and whatnot. But we're up pretty dirty right now. Just running a lot of pods into the grain tank that I don't really want. It's definitely not fun when you got to get in a grain bin that's uh, three quarters of the way full and start digging. Folks, in the last couple of videos, there's been some confusion on the combines. This is my combine. That's Dad's combine over there. They're both 740 Klaus combines. Mine's a 2014, his is a 2015. His is the main combine. It does all the corn and all the beef and beans with me, and we both do beans and wheat. His combine is kind of a Cadillac. It's got more options than this one. This is a pretty much a stripped down version of that combine, but I mean, it does the job okay. Uh, I will probably affectionately refer to this one as BFC2, and that's BFC1, or the mothership. I don't know, depends on which one's more catchy, I guess. These beans are pretty tough, but man, they're, uh, they're yielding pretty well. I don't know, uh, they're so tough though, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to run extremely late or anything. The sun's going down, I can already tell it, I'm using a lot more percent of the combine. Typically, with beans, you're not going to run out of cleaning capacity because beans yield so much lower than corn, you're going to run out of power. Corn's the opposite. It doesn't take a lot of power to thresh corn, it takes a lot of uh, capacity to thresh fresh all the corn you're going through because the yield's so high. Right now, uh, I mean, I could probably push this thing and get 2.8 to 3.2 somewhere in there miles an hour, but I'm only running, kind of luck we're having, I'm only running about 2 to 2.5, and it's generally pulling between 40 and 60% engine load. My loss is at a minimal, but I am running a decent amount of returns, so like I said, I'm still trying to fine tune it to get a, a sample clean up. Because I know people are going to ask, this field's probably going to make about 72, 73. This is Seek and Salt 8358X. This had fungicide on it, and we've had a pretty spectacular growing season, so 
they're a little bit better than I was expecting them to be, but I mean, I figured they'd be mid to upper 60s. Skunk! That skunk would have been about the worst thing to hit in a combine. I've never hit one. I've drove dad's combine after he ran over one with a tire. And holy cow, stunk for the rest of harvest. Good God. Ooh, glad he turned around. He don't know how, so I guess he needs to watch my video on how to operate that tractor. He's gonna be pissed when he sees this. I'd say Dad didn't realize you had to hit the PTO twice to get a gauge. Oh well, he'll figure it out. And this thing rides really good. I understand why George doesn't want to give it up now. bad well guys that's gonna be it for today uh the day started out pretty good got a little swirly but we ended up salvaging something out of it so uh tomorrow will just be weather dependent there's a 80 percent chance of rain but there's been a right chance of rain for the last three or four days so just have to see um if you like what you see uh subscribe to the channel uh follow me on instagram brian's outdoor videos and like us on facebook at brown farms Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. What's going on here? Douchebag shaking my hand. <laughs> Next move in, I got $5 out of the shaft, fucked up by her. Oops, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Let's start again. Good morning, folks. So far today, it sounds like uh, plan A is that we're going to start showing some, or cutting some cut it's been a chance of rain for the last two or three days so. hey thanks for watching um like us on instagram